Hello everyone. Welcome to another case of the month. A 35 years old male patient presented with history of numbness in fourth and fifth digits of left hand. MRI neurography of his left upper limb was asked for. Let us take a look at the relevant images. Axial T1 images with arrows showing the ulnar nerve in distal arm, cubital tunnel and proximal forearm. No obvious lesion is seen along the course of the nerve. Axial T2 fat saturated images. Three D space star images in coronal plane, which are extremely useful for the visualization of nerves. These are selected T2 fat sat axial images showing the normal appearance of ulnar nerve in distal arm, edema and hyperintensity starting at the level of medial epicondyle within the cubital tunnel and it. Proximal forearm. 3D stir space images in coronal pain confirming the findings which were seen on axial T2 fat side images. The MRI findings are suggestive of cubital tunnel syndrome. We went on to do a USG correlation for our interest. These are dynamic images at the level of cubital tunnel starting with elbow in extension and then in flexion. Another set of dynamic USG images as the previous one. Static image at the level of cubital tunnel of left elbow in extension showing the normal position of ulnar nerve, medial to triceps and lateral to the medial epicondyle on flexion. Abnormal subluxation of ulnar nerve is seen way beyond the medial epicondyle of humerus. Normal position of triceps tendon is seen lying at the level of medial epicondyle. Structured marked in O is the olecranon process. The ultrasound shows ulnar nerve subluxation which is the likely cause of cubital tunnel syndrome seen on MRI. Cubital tunnel syndrome is a type of ulnar nerve neuropathy due to abnormal compression of the ulnar nerve along its course within the cubital tunnel. Ulnar nerve compression can result in altered sensation in the little and ring fingers and can progress to marked wasting of the small muscles of the hand and the ulnar sided muscles of the forearm. The cubital tunnel represents one of the several small passages through which the ulnar nerve passes near the elbow and is the most common site of neuropathy. During normal elbow flexion, the ulnar nerve experiences tension and axial compression due to increased pressure within the cubital tunnel up to 20 folds. Any local structural abnormality may exacerbate the mechanical forces on the nerve which may result in neuropathy. MRI findings include ulnar nerve thickening, T2 hyperintensity and denervation edema or atrophy of the flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor digitorum profundus muscles. On USG, there is ulnar nerve thickening and edematous changes within the nerve. Ulnar nerve subluxation or dislocation is one of the causes of cubital tunnel syndrome. It can also be seen in some normal asymptomatic people. On flexion, there is normally some movement of the ulnar nerve towards the apex of the medial epicondyle. Dislocation, as is seen in the dynamic USG in our case, occurs if there is translation of the ulnar nerve over the medial epicondyle and beyond it. A snap may also be heard or felt with the movement. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please press the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon for notifications.